We are delighted to welcome Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Price, the new commander of the United States Air Force Academy Concert Band to the KCME Culture Zone, and to welcome him to Colorado Springs. Daniel, welcome. Thank you very much, George. It certainly is a pleasure to be here. Now, tell us a little bit about your latest assignment. Where were you before you came to Colorado Springs? In my last assignment, actually, we arrived from it about two weeks ago. I was in Washington, D.C., serving the United States Air Force uh, as the chief of music, sitting in the Pentagon. And my job overall was really to uh, work with policy, strategy for the Air Force Band program around the world. I'm thinking that you're probably chomping at the bit to make some actual music with these terrific musicians here in Colorado Springs. Well, I must admit that having served for three years in the Pentagon, working in more of the music business side of the Air Force Band program, that while there were moments that were uh, incredible uh, and able to have an effect around the world, the chance to be able to come back and work with these professional musicians again and to be part of the arts community here in Colorado Springs, uh, we're just thrilled. I was very impressed to hear that you have a background in singing, and choral conducting, and that you conducted one of the legendary Air Force ensembles, one that I heard when I was a kid, and my dad, who was a reservist at the time, was doing his uh, duty at Bowling Air Force Base in the summers, where we went almost every year for a few years as a kid, the Singing Sergeants. I heard them when I was a little guy, and they made such an impression on me. Oh, yes. That's the way I actually began my time in the United States Air Force. After completing graduate school at the University of Cincinnati and doing both a master's and doctorate in choral conducting, uh, I joined the Air Force specifically to conduct the singing sergeants. I had the pleasure of being able to do that for four years. But then since then, actually, I have had the pleasure also then of working with the rest of our band program and being able to work directly with all of our phenomenally talented instrumentalists and to be able to do that around the world. And speaking of the phenomenally talented instrumentalists, the folks in the U.S. Air Force Academy Concert Band and its exciting family of ensembles, as I've gotten to know them through these KCME Chamber Recital Series broadcasts, they are top-notch, schooled musicians. Without knowing it, I had even sung on a number of times with uh, Sarah Stewart, one of your bassoonists, playing in the pit when we were both in school in Boston. I was singing operas, she was playing in the pit. There are folks uh, from Oberlin, Peabody, uh, Indiana University. All of the great music schools are represented. And so it's a tremendous tradition of musical talent and training in the service of the mission of the U.S. Air Force Academy Concert Band. Talk a little bit about that mission and what you hope to bring to it uh, in your tenure as the commander of the U.S. Air Force Academy Concert Band, Dan. As you've mentioned, uh, and very eloquently, it is such a pleasure and an honor for me to be able to work with a group of airmen that are so talented. Now, the Air Force Band program is unusual in the Air Force in that we do have such a high level of education. Each of these slots, each of the positions that our airmen musicians are hired into, uh, our folks have to go through a competitive audition. Mm -hmm. And as a result, we are able to keep our standards very high. But we do that specifically for the purpose of being able to maintain a level of excellence and professionalism that represents who the Air Force is, what we do for the United States. So as we engage the public in a wide variety of publics, whether it's here in the United States, whether it's overseas, whether we're playing for airmen, we do so with the goal of being able to showcase the true professionalism of the Air Force as a service, of the the level of work that we do to protect the United States, uh, and also just to be able to work in the area of defense throughout the world on behalf of our country. Well, it occurs to me that overall the job of all of our armed forces is to protect the United States, make sure that we're secure. But in a sense, the, the effect of the concert band and the great musicians that you lead is to remind us all of what we're protecting and why we're protecting it and the quality 
of our lives here in the United States, and particularly right here in Colorado Springs. The Air Force musicians make such an impact, not just in their official Air Force jobs, but as members of the Philharmonic and Chamber Orchestra of the Springs, and playing for musicals and operas on behalf of Opera Theater of the Rockies and the Colorado Springs Conservatory. Those are just a few examples. The Air Force musicians, you might not recognize them if you go to the Philharmonic, but they bring such richness to our cultural landscape. I'm speaking with Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Price, who is the uh, new commander of the Air Force Academy Concert Band. Daniel, talk about the value of this, this partnership between KCME and the Academy Concert Band and its ensembles. This relationship that we have with KCME is highly valued by the United States Air Force Academy Band. As we've stated before, our mission is to get out and to represent the Air Force, represent the Air Force Academy, and to be able to interact with the public and do so wearing a uniform. We do so with the intent of being able to create events where we can really reach out and build relationships with people, where we can work together to just enjoy the arts, but then to do so wearing the blue uniform. Because our goal is to remind people that even while we enjoy art together, that we want to remind people of the airmen that are actually serving in harm's way around the world and serving on behalf of our country. So even though we may enjoy some of these very sophisticated works of art, in our programs we also like to program some music that helps us all focus on the degree to which we value our country. So we always try to insert some patriotic music into our programs just to give us a chance together as a community to be able to just express the value that we have for our nation. Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Price, thank you so much for joining us on the KCME Culture Zone. I look forward to working with you and your staff and these great musicians in the months to come. We're going to have a lot of fun. Thank you, George. It's an honor to be here. 